I'm Kim Wesson of Wesson Photography, and this is Welcome to Wildcat. What we're looking at today is a couple of Edward Wesson's nudes. Um, this is one that he did very early in his life. It was done in the 20s, and it was done during that period where he was in L.A. with Margaret Mather, and it was sort of the more pictorial period. So a lot of the photographs in the news were of sort of soft focus. Uh, if you look back at those early, early images, they're very sort of dramatic, very theatrical. Um, this this being one end, he still was looking at how he put together the composition. And you notice how he cut the elbow off here. Well, what that does is build these corners. And that's super, super important. Because what it does is show there's a constant decision going on that he's made. Um, instead of showing the whole elbow, he's used it to block off these corners. Um, and this is really uh, quite a rare photograph. Um, there are not many of them ever printed. Uh, we're going to go over and look at uh, 227N, which, um, of course, this being one, this is the 227th nude. So let's go over and look at that. So we just looked at uh, 1N, and now we're looking at 227N. Uh, this was done in 1936. Um, 1N was done in the 20s. This is a really interesting photograph, and it's one of my grandfather's most famous nudes. And it was funny, when Karis is the model, and when she was alive, she would come down and talk about this photograph. And it was really interesting to her insight into it. And what she always said was, you know, I love the photograph, but I really don't like the bobby pins in my hair. And it's funny because, I mean, no one ever really sees that. And then she would say, Edward was really kind of disturbed about this shadow line running down her arm. And it really goes back to what my grandfather was, was he was a strict recorder of, of things. He wanted them to look real. So when you see the shadow, what it does to the photograph is it shrinks the body uh, length and makes it much longer looking. So it sort of distracts and distorts the vision. And that kind of bugged him. And it, it, there it goes back to saying, you know, he wanted everything to look just as it was. Um, and of course, that falls into that whole group of F64 group, that that's what the camera was supposed to do, is just record reality. Um, but this, this is also interesting because it's a project print. It was printed by my Uncle Brett when Edward was alive in the darkroom here at Wildcat. So it's kind of very special and unique, um, mainly because Brett printed it, but also because it was printed on the same paper that Edward used. Um, when my dad started printing the negatives, that haloid paper was not, no more available. And so he had to find different papers to try and match that look. Um, these old papers were very, very uh, saturated with silver, and they made absolutely beautiful prints, as you can see. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to check out our website at www.kimwesson.com, where you can check for upcoming workshops and browse through our collection of silver gelatin photographs. You can also subscribe to our newsletter to know what the first family of photography is up to in the photographic world. Thanks again.